Alright guys, Tush coming back at you. Tuesday, January the 10th and uh, back working on this uh, driver's side wheel well. So we've made a template that captures the entire length of the wheel well repair section. And uh, I think what we'll do is we'll probably break it into two patches. And we'll split that template right there. So we'll uh, transfer that to metal, uh, drill the holes out, and uh, we'll weld it in. So we'll come back when we have some uh, updates. All right, guys, tonight's the night. Anyway, we got the uh, patch made and all drilled out. Everything's ink coated, edges cleaned off. Gonna weld it in. We'll come back. Just thought I'd take a quick uh, snap of the uh, patch before I weld it in. Just sort of sitting there. So we'll get the welder out and we'll start tacking it in. All right guys, patch number two ready to go. So we'll weld that in and then we'll grind her down and we'll come back. All right guys, just a quick update for you. We've got it all ground down and we're gonna call this wheel weld done. It looks 100% uh, better than it did. So we'll uh, just probably throw a quick coat of uh, red oxide primer on that and uh, then we'll figure out where we wanna move to next. All right, guys, just coming up to uh, 6.30 and uh, just out after putting a quick coat of primer on that area. And it's looking 100% better than it did. So uh, happy with the results of that. So uh, we're going to do a few other little things here tonight, I think. We'll uh, maybe start tackling this rear area again like it did on the other side. Maybe we'll start working on this flange over here uh, that needs to be repaired. Uh, I'm going to get the torch out and see if there's a bunch of lead in there like there was on the other side. You can see we've got a bit of a crack there. So anyway, we need to refix this little flange piece. Obviously, we need to fi fix the, um, the tail light piece and this whole flange here. I think what I'll do is uh, I'll try to get to the bottom of what's going on down in this corner and we'll melt all this lead out as well and see exactly what is going on down here. All right, guys, we'll come back. Thought you might like a little video of this. I think there's going to be a big gaping hole here by the time we're done melting all this. You can see the lead running out of it. It's like a lava. Hmm. You're getting on your foot. So I already found another big hole. Uh, it was full of lead over in the uh, little flange area over there. I'll show you that when I'm uh, done melting all this lead out of here. But yeah, it's uh, not pretty. Pretty riveting video, eh? I've never seen so much lead on a car before. It seems to be everywhere in this car. So obviously back in the day they would use lead uh, like body filler or Bondo. There we go. Here we got to the bottom of while that lead was in this corner. So, looks like we have some more repairs to do. <laughs> anyway, lead had to come out, so I thought I'd just give you a quick uh, video of that while we're doing it. Alright, we'll come back. So we're just going to uh, break the, uh, the die grinder out and clean this up a little bit, but I just wanted you to have a quick look at what this looks like before I get the grinder out. Still some lead in there. So we'll get the grinder out and clean this up a little bit better and then you'll be able to see the extent of the damage. And again, big hole through there as well. That was filled with lead. I don't know if you can see that there. Anyway, here's what it is. 
We'll fix it the best we can. All I want to know is whatever I do won't be any worse than this. We'll come back when I clean it up a bit. Well, the good thing is that the car is going to be a whole lot lighter with all the, without all this lead in it. Uh, the bad news is that we have a lot of um, holes to fix. And uh, some curvy bits to contend with. So uh, we'll do our best. But there you go. There's that area cleaned up a little bit better, as you can see. So we're going to have to do uh, a few different uh, patches, I think. Uh, with some brazing in there as well, just to throw everything in there. And again, big gaping hole over here that was just full of lead. So, anyway, we have our work cut out for us on this uh, rear section of this car. Uh, on the driver's side, it seems to be a lot worse than the uh, passenger side was. So, anyway, I think we're going to call it a night. <laughs> we're going to... Uh, think about how we're going to attack this. What I'm thinking is that we'll do this top flange first uh, just for a reference point. I don't want to lose, that's the problem is I don't want to lose all these reference points. Like I'd mentioned uh, if the fenders fit better on this car and the rear, fan, rear flanges of the fenders hadn't been cut off I could sort of use them as a template to make sure that I'm keeping the uh, you know the rear shape of this fender intact but uh, the fenders are quite worse for wear as well, so we'll have to be careful when we uh, fix this area not to screw up uh, all these curves. So we'll definitely try to keep some reference, point, reference points along the way in order for us to be able to do that. So like I said, we'll, uh, we'll take it away, we'll think about it, we'll sleep on it, and uh, we'll come back to it uh, hopefully tomorrow night for an hour or two. We'll start uh, working on sort of trying to reconstruct this area. I think I may start uh, on the, let's call it the easier bit, which will be this little uh, flange area. We'll get that out of the way and then we'll sort of move around the edge. Maybe we'll fix the headlight, or I keep calling it a headlight, the taillight uh, area to give that a bit more structure and integrity there before we start uh, hacking into that bottom section. That's the plan, I think, so far. Like I said, we'll sleep on it. We'll get back out here uh, tomorrow, hopefully. See you then. Wish me luck.